Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing four different brow looks, four different makeup looks, and four different fashion styling looks for you. If you're interested, please keep on watching. So to create natural brows, I'm gonna be using three products: the foolproof brow powder from Benefit, as well as the Gimme Brow, as well as this. Goof Proof Brow Pencil. So this is the newest addition to the Benefit Brow range. This powder is supposed to go on the front part of your brows and then this is the end. Applying the lighter shade. So I use Full Proof on days where I want my brows to be super natural and soft. Just gently sweep. Go in with the darker shade. Follow your natural brow shape. Look at the difference, it's subtle but it actually really helps to frame your face. If you want to be a little bit more extra like me, <laughs> you can go in with Groove Proof Brow Pencil. This is my favourite product. What I like about it is that it's arc, so it makes it super easy for you to draw the tail. So just very gently go in with Gimme Brow. This is a brow volumizing fiber gel. Helps to not only keep your brows in place, but if you have very, very little brow hairs, this is your best friend because it actually has a bit of fibers in it that helps you look like you have more brow hair. I love that the wand is also super tiny, so lets me get the brow hairs like super precise. Using the Urban Decay Naked Heat. Firstly, I'm gonna use sauce. Then I'm gonna contour my face, obviously using my favourite Hula Bronzer from Benefit. I've been a huge fan of Hula for years and years and I think this is like my third or fourth box already. Super easy to blend. The colour is also perfect for being a bronzer as well as a contour. Then going with the California Blush. This is like a really cute and sweet pink kind of colour. And if you guys have a chance, you should go and smell it. <laughs> Super nice, smells like just. And I'll use the Dandelion Twinkle. This is a soft pale pink kind of highlight. I'm not going to go too crazy with it because it's a natural look. Finish off with these two lip products. Smashbox Liquid Lip in Stepping Out as well as my Aritam Lip Lacquer. And we are done! This look is very very natural and easy to do. It's good for every day. The bold and angular brow look. So I've already applied my base. Going in with the Boeing Brightening Concealer to brighten up my under eye. If you don't get much sleep, you tend to have puffy and dark under eye. To get that bold and angular brow look, I'll be using two products. One is the Brow Zings from Benefit as well as the High Brow Glow Pencil. In this package, you will get this. This is really cute. You can extend it. You have both a wax as well as a powder. And what I like to do is I like to mix them both together. And I will first start by outlining. And we all know our brows should start from here, right across our pupil. And this should be where the arc is. Gonna make a mark as well as 
end of our eye should be where our brow should stop, which is here. I'm just gonna follow these lines and create a really strong, bold up look. Then we'll move in with the High Brow Glow Pencil. And this is actually a highlighting pencil that will give you the extra lift at the arc. So just apply it underneath and blend it up the roots. See that it's instantly lifted up. Same thing for the other side. We're just I'm going to go on with the rest of my makeup and I'm going to go for something really sophisticated and chic. So you want that very chiseled face shape give a very very strong woman vibe blush i'm using this mauvey shade because our eyes are pretty bold i don't want to steal too much attention away getting the benefit dandelion twinkle i'm gonna pile this on I want our cheekbones to pop look at that <laughs> finishing touch would be the lips i'm using this revlon HD gel lipstick in the shade Lava. It is a bright red color. It will definitely give off that really strong woman vibe. And there you have it! This look is now complete. Look. I'm gonna go for like an Instagram baddie kind of feel as you can tell from my hair. <laughs> okay, so I've already done the base. I'm gonna just highlight the high points of my face. Just a little bit with some concealer. My Laura Mercier powder and just mattify the entire thing. For the palette brow look, I'm going to be using these products from Benefit. This is the Precisely My Brow uh, Pencil and I have them in three shades to make it more three-dimensional but if you think it's a bit too excessive, you don't have to use three shades. I also have with me the Ready Set Brow Brow Gel to keep my hairs in place as well as the Give Me Brow on hand to give it more texture. So let's zoom into the brows. So I'm first gonna start with precisely my brow pencil. I'm taking shade number two, which is a pretty light shade. As you can see, the tip is so fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw hair. Let's start from the bottom, flick it up like this, bottom, flick it up like this. So if you can see, I'm just filling in the areas where I have some sparseness. and I'm following the direction of my hair growth. So at the start, it's straight up. Then moving towards here, it's this angle, and then it slowly tapers this way. So I'm just following my natural brow hair shape. So I know you can't really tell much yet, but we will go in with a darker shade, and this is shade number four using the same Precisely My Brow pencil. I really like it because it's so precise and you will start to see the brow has form. Okay. So you can start to see a little bit of brow hairs. I'm going to take the spoolie and just try and gently blend it through. So comb it upwards at the front and 
then slowly taper it down. This is a very important step. I'm going to be using the Ready Set Brow Brow Gel to keep my brow hairs in place. And if you have short brow hairs like me, you need this because it helps to keep your brows upright so that they are more visible. And there you have it. Feathered brow, no brow. <laughs> Now let's move on to the rest of the makeup. Kind of look. I already applied my MAC Light Fussy on my base and I really like this cushion because it is very dewy and natural. I'm going to be highlighting the rest of my face with the Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer. I really like this because it's so cute. It looks like an eraser actually. And it's a paste kind of form. Just very lightly going over the high points of my face because it helps to brighten the complexion. Now it's time for the brows. For the straight brow look, I'll be using these two products from Benefit. The first one is the Cup Brow and also the 3D Brow Tones. So first, I'm going to be using Cup Brow. Then, I'm going to be outlining my brows. So I'm going to join from this point to the end of my brows, which is this point. Going from this place to this area. Then gently fill in gaps and use whatever is left on the brush to slowly push at the tip of the brow. So what I'm doing is just dragging whatever product that I applied um, to the front because you want the front to be the most natural. Next, taking this 3D Brow Tone. It is a product that actually helps to highlight your brows and kind of make it look more three-dimensional. So if you have straight and thick brows, it gives off a more youthful kind of look. And you use a fluffy brush and kind of just blend out this edges a little bit more to soften up your look. So I'm using these eyeshadows from Etude House. They belong to the Look At My Eyes Cafe range. Apply it to your entire eyelid. Then I'm going in with a darker shade of peach as well. Pop it in the outer corners. Just for that little bit of subtle shadow. Then I'm going to use the Hula Light, which is a lighter version of the Hula Bronzer. I really like it that Benefit came out with something like this because it is super suitable for people who have fair skin. Using Hula Light for the rest of my face. And I'm using Hula Light because we are doing a sweet Korean look and you don't want to make your skin look tan. So Hula Light is the best for that. Using a brown eyeliner, this is from Heroin Mate. Don't forget the droopy eyes. Don't forget to draw your Aegyo Sal, which is your Korean eye bag. Next up, we'll go with Benefit's Go Go Tint. This is a hot coral kind of colour and you use it as a tint. So you can use it on your cheeks or in your lips. Just look at how bright and colourful this colour is. Then line twinkle. And you're done! Oh, 
felt it And thinking I walked it And went to your dance Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this lookbook, makeup and brow styling kind of style video. If you'd like to find out about the products that I use, please don't forget to check out the description box below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! You can now find Benefit on Zalora. So hop over to browse soon.